come through and maybe hit the beads for them, but then special delivery to follow up. They can dash away. I mean, Kernanos has a dash, Amaterasu has a dash, Thor has the hammer, Raijin has a dash, and Yamoja can just... Thanks, Hindu man. It's Finch and Mifflin here as you move into game number one between Sanguine and E United. Sanguine back on the uptick, and E United struggling a bit as of late. Trying to force objectives. Yeah, I wonder if Shinto being a bit greedy with the farm as the red buff invade comes out. Wrong view on the wrong side of this wall, but Riptide allows him to escape. Panatom in the air, but he's alone for this dive. Dunks down anyway. Still has the hammer. If he needs that to escape, I believe, as Shinto tries to clean up Scream, just not enough damage. A lot committed by Sanguine for this red buff invade. They don't even get it, but now maybe they can get genetics. The Wild Hunt brought him down low. Thunder Crash interrupts the dash, and Netroid comes out on top. Shinto just catching it out so instantly. Oh, you early lead that Shinto has. If they're even or behind, there's no way Shinto decides to go in. Hey, worst case scenario, you got the beats. <laughs> just as you were saying. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Scream, gonna be able to do it again if he so chooses. Maybe even tries to shift back towards that long lane and alleviate some of the pressure. But look at Yarkor, already in the game. He's trying to get a bit more. Getting involved earlier on is the Amaterasu. That's the beads out from Hurwin. Rongyu, though, pays for the aggression from Sengwen. He's the one that gets clipped by Genetics as the United find their first kill here of the game. Sengwen! The second he finishes out some of this pen, Divine Ruin, the first item picked up, gonna be able to counteract some of that life steal and healing that Variety brings. Things are rough, Speaking and they're on of a timer. Variety. Yeah, not bad. He's gonna be in the ground. Panatum gets the second relics online. That's when they're gonna start to move towards these objectives. Scream starts the fight off with the Sonic Boom, but River's Rebuke cuts off his escape path, and he's suddenly stuck in this engagement. Great damage on the wrong you, but Panatom finds the dunk. That makes it one for one. Scream for the Emoja. If the fight ends here, Sanguine's happy with it. They've already got the better trade, but these guys are hungry. They want a bit more. Good damage on the Hurwin. Forces out his beads. Tycho drums hit from max range, and Hurwin falls as well. Sanguine find the two for one in the jungle. I thought banning out or taking away Merlin would be enough to slow Shinto. Driven by them, some damage does come back their way. Sanguine Force Herwin to back and are grouping up for this next red buff invade. I, I don't know how you're going to engage on a Sh Shinto. It's got to be Scream's ultimate again. <laughs> Well, that's what did it. Shinto is already gone. Heroin gets the kill credit for it. Wrong you. Pulled back into the snipes by Variety. Good teamwork between him and Snoopy. And suddenly a two for zero has materialized out of thin air. And everything good for United has started on the back of a great sonic boom for Scream. Uh, Scream's really been United, but that trepidation is gone. Sanguine will now start up the Oni Fury and force e United to be the ones who step in. They're burning it quick. It's down well below half, so e United step on the gas. Sanguine already got it. Scream drops his ultimate early, too, but Yarkor makes it out. Can't say the same for Netro, though. He's in Scream's clutches and left, and Scream will find the kill. Genetics now low, as is the Mercury, as a big wall stun for Panatom comes out, but there's just no follow-up. Shinto did not have the cooldown, so e United may have lost the objective, but now they lose Scream, too. Yeah, net win for Sanguine there. The objective, trading out Netroid for Scream is almost always going to be high value. You got to slow down this Mercury. He's looking to start to get his Rage finished up. He's maybe going to move into some more crit afterward for a pick first. They're going to look for some sort of engagement, then back up towards these objectives. 50-50s have never been the name of the game for Sanguine. This might be bad for Variety, though. Even with the life of the party, he's in trouble. Shinto, though, elects to go with the damage tick on the ultimate, not to pull him back in with the taunt. So Variety forces them to chase a bit longer than they might have liked to. Shinto does eventually get the kill, but Scream finds a pretty good sonic boom cutting through the team fight. The tower does finally go down, and now Scream is stuck in the back of the fight. Everyone on Sanguine just turn around and look at him, and Netroid with the long-term rotation comes around the back, gets one, and sets up for the second as Yarkor takes care of genetics. Panatown now on the trace looking for Scream, forcing the beads out from him, but Sanguine's already won this fight front to back. Snoopy wasn't there at all. Sanguine grouped up his five, almost like a shark, just smelling for blood in the water. Immediately spot out a Variety, pick him off. The enemy team at United tries to regroup, try to peel him out. Not quick enough, and then two more members fall. Maybe up. That's interesting. They're looking to catch out Sanguine out unawares in their own jungle. Yeah, well, Sanguine, no, they're here. The jig is up, and Yarkor starts things off. Panatom is in the sky as well as Rongyu cuts the fight in half. Nothing with that dunk there from Panatom, but he forces Hurwin out and avoids Scream's ultimate. Meanwhile, Netroid, how about a double kill in the back as he shuts down the dual lane of E-United. 
now. Shinto, a little bit of a fight with Scream on the right-hand side, forces him back out, but Sanguine have been steadily moving around the map here at this point. They can now force down this left side if they'd like, since they all game here for Sanguine so far, and that's becoming more of a trend than an aberration as they want to threaten the right side. Phoenix Snoopy counters the ult by going up with his. That leaves Erwin as the only target. He doesn't hit anything there. A scream cuts through, but Genetics Ooh. pops in the front line. He's just not tanky enough to stand there. That's big damage from Hurwin, yes, but Sanguine can still afford to surge forward. Snoopy has his beads forced out in the back as minions start to pour in from the left lane, but E United do push them back out and keep the right side Phoenix up. Scream dashing in, a little bit overzealous, gets the, the majority of his health bar eliminated. Sanguine was already backing up, but now that Scream has to go back to base, they can re-engage on this Phoenix. He's kind of given them another wave here with which to engage, or they still have Wrong You and the Fire Giant buff, so Sanguine have plenty of sustain. That should continue again. Maybe they're waiting for Panatom Ultimate to come back up. That's been the main way they've been engaging every single time. And now that it's up, yep, he's up as well. I'm gonna head right back in. He goes to the back line, and this time he does connect with Herwin to force out the bead. Scream tries to get to the back line, but again is negated by those relics from Sanguine. They're able to stay alive, take care of the Mercury, and now Jarkor's turn to front line, but big damage coming from that back line. Snoopy goes up with the snipes, can't find the first, second connects, and the third isn't enough damage. Jarkor lives through it all, but as you mentioned, it's slow going on this mid Phoenix. Maybe they're making life a bit harder for themselves by not looking for the weaker one. Yarkor has teleport available. He can move back in instantly. Panatom splitting up the push. He's so tanky. He's just, just eating up these autos from Snoopy. Doesn't even care a little bit. Finds the Phoenix, loses his life. Overall valuable as it creates space for the mid Phoenix to fall as well. Wow, he basically just face tanks all those shots from Snoopy. Value ultimate from him. He hasn't found any sick counter engage or really engage himself. Every single time Panatom goes up, what does United do in response? Sonic boom. Where's genetics at i don't know not impactful the fight to say the least well wrong you get snoopy's beats early so that means he falls to Yarkor right away variety gets cut down by the shito netroid backline combo panatom dunks in onto heroin who does make it back to the fountain at the very least but genetics just now using the ultimate it's way too late my man sanguine are the ones who take the game 34 minutes but it was pretty dominant the whole way what do you reckon we're going to a game three here go I don't know, if Sanguine, like you said, with a lot of slows there, I feel like a couple of Witchblades come online in late game, they don't have too much that's locking them down. The Kraken, the lane phase should be good. If E United can... And looking pretty good doing it. Thanks, Hindu Man and Gormizer. Still Finch and Mifflin here on the call as we move into the second game here of this set. Early spot on this Sunder here for Genetics. On the information, right? Snoopy and Genetics know that they've got Wrong You and Netroid pinned on the left hand side. So Scream is free to rotate over, blinks over the wall, Cobra Kiss, and Netroid comes back in. What a homie. In fact, they're winning the 2v3. They get some backup coming in from Panatom to turn the fight around. That's first blood. And they want a bit more as genetics tries to hide in the minions but he cannot netroid gets the kill and it's a two for zero netroid doesn't need anybody to help him dodges the the, the cobra's kiss with his <laughs> jump is on this i think it is also worth mentioning how important it is that Netroid plays well, but they've got some trouble. They're trying to use the Hurlwind combo along with this Circuit to get the kill, but instead it's Scream who ends up low. Does manage to jump back, but Panatom manages to find the kill. Shinto hunts down Hurlwind as well. Another two for zero on the back of E United, starting off a good fight. Man, I just gotta, I just gotta laugh about it a little bit, man. E United getting a little bit stuck. Wrong you versus Scream and Hurrywin, and again, it's just not working out. Metroid perhaps getting aggressive again on Snoopy, nearly find the solo kill. Dive Bomb is enough, and this game, too, belongs to Netroid right now. 3-0-2, and, and having an absolute game for himself up against Snoopy and the rest of E Unite on and give Scream a chance to move in with that Blink Circuit engage. I, I, the idea made sense, but it just didn't work. Panatom in some trouble now. A great silence buys them some time, but disjointed. The Kraken needs to be there sooner, it's not enough. Panatom even turns around to put the hammer into Scream's back. That sets up for Yarkor to get the kill. Stun lands on the variety, has to use Fatal Strike just to escape at this point. But United, man, they're, they're on different pages at this point. 
uh, now variety caught out as well. Genetics likely gonna die here. Sag would go to Gold Fury, go to Fire. I don't care. Do whatever you want. You own the map. If I thought Scream was inting earlier when he decided to go back into God King Netroid's lane and die to him for the second time in a full minute, he's certainly inting there on that back camp when he decides to ult the minion instead. It's gotta be a slight misplay, maybe just a misclick, but certainly, that's it, not what you want. It's not what you want at all. Kraken finds- He pulled ten and a half minutes into the game, but Yarkor is nearby. If he knows about this, maybe he could stop he it, but no Yarkor's clue. going to wave! Well, I don't he knows think he now. recognizes it, now the Genix has died to FG! He has to know, damage coming from over the wall, but it is secured by the Kraken. E United had to make something happen, and they find an early 11-minute FG. That's a huge power play for them. Maybe now they can win some team fights themselves. Panatom goes a little bit too deep. Scram finds the kill. Yarkor in the back end. Not quite enough to deal any damage there. Rongyu's not going to deal enough. Four members strong with Fire Giant. E United have the power play. I equate it to 10,000 gold, but the dive continues. Variety, are you okay? No, it looks like he's not. Ends up getting grabbed for Camelot and Avalon as they bring him back down. And all the while, tanking up this tier 1 tower. Wrong you has not a care in this world. Knock up from Shinto as he joins the fray. Crushing Wave is enough to get that kill onto Scream. And they finally bring down the tier 1 tower. And Yarkor on 10% HP still aggressive. But Genetics wants the kill, makes Wrong you pay. But that leaves Shinto in the back line with Hurwin so far winning the 1v1. But even Snoopy rotates over. They shut down Yarkor. Core. So now you must ask, where is Netroid? Well, he is still pushing the tier 2 tower in left <gasps> as Shinto collects yet another kill. Don't step up, Snoopy. That man just hit him for 802 abilities. Be careful, bro! Oh no, <laughs> Snoopy. What's going on, man? Shinto's styling. What is this lazy bag? Panatom's coming out of the tail end. Snoopy, rest in peace, dog. Yeah, there's just not much way for him to get out at this point. Panatom gets the kill. And Myth, Talk to me a little bit about this. I mean, I like the play, obviously, to go for that Fire Giant. Alive for that one. Maybe they get out of there a bit more cleanly on the back end. A scream tries to get aggressive, immediately gets caught by the hammer and dies to Netroid. So herwin has got to find something, but it's a double kill now for the Ho Yi. His rampage from earlier on continues. Beads and Aegis, so we can keep right on fighting. Dive Bomb back down, and he gets the triple off the Ricochet. Netroid will not be denied at this point in the game. Genetics, at that point, there was nothing he could do. He falls as well, a four for zero for Sanguine. Man, I was just thinking to myself, man, Netroid hasn't done much recently since they stopped going to his lane, and that's exactly what it was. United show even a little bit of presence on the Gold Fury side of the map. Net These Sanguine boys are playing around each other incredibly well. The defense is strong, their offense is equally strong. These guys are looking untouchable. Variety tried to look for the flank on the backside of the fight, but he basically just gave his life away. He died before the flank could be completed. Now, Sanguine will try and take this favorable 4v4 fight. They don't quite have Panatom here for it, but the fight's not really... It's so squishy at this point that uh, a 1-3-1 one, one from Shinto is going to put him in the dirt. When your priority target to kill on the enemy team is so far ahead and so potent, I mean, it, it's just an unrealistic task at this point to stop Shinto's rampage. It's going to be difficult. Panatom did take to the sky, lands back towards Hurrowind. Fire Giant low, and Sanguine confirm it, even with Variety poking his head in. Yarkor gets the kill onto Genetics as well, as Panatom forces Hurrowind out of the engagement. Metroid going up and over the wall. They really want this wow. kill, but they do not even need him. The hammer double tap gets the job done. At this point, Sanguine with five members strong and no f towers left in mid really can just start threatening a Phoenix. Man, I really thought it was going to be Enhanced Fire Giant, but I have to remind myself that we're only 17 <laughs> minutes into this game. Snoopy trying to get a Phoenix in return. It's the best play he can make because he's not stopping the aggression. But you are going, going for a pre-20? That's what it looks like. They want to try and put the game to bed, but that's great damage from Variety on the back line to bring Shinto low. Yarkor gets the kill. They head right back to the Titan. Sanguine feeling themselves at this point as they turn around and pop Scream as well. Potentially the fastest game we could have here if they find a way to get the end because Netroid is still full HP and just swinging on the Titan. Nothing that E United could do. 318 minutes. Sanguine, take care of this one easy. Uh, um. Uh... Yeah, man, United played well. <laughs> Sanguine, real good. You show so much respect for the first time, I think, towards Sanguine's in the P's and B's. We see Raijin, Merlin, Band out, Jing 